Hi right, everyone, Paddy O'Brien, GDA here again. Today, myself and Jack are going to give you the third week of third and fourth class PE. Again, what you're going to need today is a hurley, if you have one, if you don't, don't worry about it, a football, a slitter, and loads of socks. Okay? So we're going to just have a bit of fun with it. So we're going to start off with a warm up, nice and simple warm up. Jack is going to stand like me with his two legs together like what we call a kangaroo. So from standing position, he's gonna jump up into the air and he's gonna do it six times. Go on, Jack. One, two, three, four, five, six. And we're trying to get up as high as we can, all right? Go again, Jack, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so the two legs are together and we're getting up off the ground as high as we can. Okay, so the next one Jack is going to do is he's going to go over here by the sock. See my lovely sock? Nice and stripey one for you. He's going to stand on one leg. Oh, look at that, la. I can't stand. He's going to stand on one leg and he's going to hop five times on each leg. Ready, Jack? And go. One, two, three, four, five. And change. One, two, three, four, five. And again, very important, just trying to keep that knee steady. One, two, three, four, five. And change over. One, two, three, four, five. Okay? So he's hopping on one leg. Okay? But it's very important to try and keep the leg steady. So to help him on that, okay? The next one we're going to do is we're going to go down. Okay? Like as if we're in a, um, a squatting position. Okay? But this time we're going to jump across and hold it on one leg. And jump to the other side. And hold again, okay? So Jack is going to do that on his left and right side. Ready, Jack? And go. And hold. And back over again. And hold. And again, hold. And again. Well done. Oh, see? Okay, and hold. So, just a few things, okay? So if you're under pressure and you get over, and hold, settle yourself again. Settle again. And go again, okay? So settle after each one. So just to make it easier, Jack, you settle now after every jump. Okay, go across and hold, hold first, hold it, don't forget to hold it, okay, hold and settle now, and do it again, and hold again, okay, so, again, once we do, we're exaggerating it, we're going over, and hold with the leg up, and now put the leg down, and across again, and hold, and put the leg down, try it once more, Jack, and again, and hold, yeah, and again across, and hold, okay, and hold. Well done. Okay, so those are some nice three easy things. Now we're gonna put them into use, Jack. So we're gonna stand behind the sock, and I'm gonna get another sock, and I'm gonna put it over here. So now, Jack, this time you're gonna do six kangaroo jumps, and when you finish the sixth one, you're gonna sprint to the other socks, okay? So six, one, go, one, two, three, four, Five, six, and sprint. Well done. Good man, and make your way back again now. Make your way back. Very important here, lads, that when we come down to go, that we're not going backwards, okay? A lot of the time, when we land, we try and push back. What we want to do here is sprint, go forward, okay? So when we hit the ground, we want to try and go forward. So again, no jack, six of those. Two, three, four, five, six, and go. Well done. Good man. We'll do one more of those, Jack. One more of those. So we're going to do three of these kangaroo jumps and sprints. All right, Jack? This is the last one. Okay? One, two, three, four, five, six. Well done. Well done. And back you come, so Jack. And now this time, we're going to do the hopping on one leg. So we're going to hop one, two, three, four, five, six, and go. Okay? And we're going to do every second leg, so we're going to do four of these, two off of each leg. Ready, Jack? Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, and go. Good man, Jack. And back again now, do the other leg. The other leg now, yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, and go. Good man. And back now to the right leg again. And six of that. And go, well done. And the last one of those on the left. On the left. One, two, three, four, five, six, and go. 
Good man, Jack. Well done. So again, nice and straight forward. Do your hops and sprint. So now the last one, Jack, is this time we're going to be here again. We're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, and sprint. Okay? Let's go. Right, one, two, three, four, five, six, and sprint. Well done. We'll do it once more, Jack. We'll do that once more. Once more. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, go. Well done, Jack. Good stuff. So now we're just going to put out a line of socks. Okay, a line of socks. Nice and simple. No rocket science in these ones. So this time Jack is going to start on this one and he's going to zigzag run. So you're going to in out, Jack, Jack, in out, in out, all the way out, all the way back. Ready? Go. Well done. Sprint. Sprint the bunch of walking. Sprint. Good man. And again. Well done. Well done. Okay, we'll do that once more now. Go, Jack. So again, sprinting in and out the socks. And sprint all the way back again. Good stuff. Well done. Well done. So now we're going to just give Jack a ball. Okay? So Jack is going to get his hurley and his ball. Alright, Jack? So this time, I just want you to run with the hurley and the ball in your hand. No soul running, no nothing. All right, so just run. Go. So now, well done. And back again. Well done. Well done. Now, two things. One, if you're able, okay, which Jack is going to be able to do, Jack is going to solo run in around the zags, the cone or the socks, okay? So he's going to solo run. If you can't, just do it with the ball in your hand. So just run with the ball in your hand. So we'll do both. Jack will show you first the solo run. And then he's going to run with it in his hand again. Right, Jack? Go. Well done, Jack. Well done. Well done. And stop. And I'll just do it with, with the ball in your hand again. Go. Okay. And now, well, you see, this, this might help you to be able to solo run. You're going to use the sock instead of a ball, Jack. So put the sock on it. Okay, and this time leave two hands on the hurley, Jack, okay? Leave two hands on the hurley and just use the sock. On you go, Jack. See how you get on. See the sock? The sock? Hey! The sock should stay there. If you've got a small brother or a small sister or somebody else who may be a beanbag hanging around at home, if there's a beanbag, then use the beanbag instead of the ball because the beanbag will stay solid on the hurley. So we'll just try it again with the sock, Jack, and this time just go one hand, Jack. So bring the hurley. That's it. Go again. Good boy. Well done. Well done, Jack. Great stuff. Okay. So again, nice and simple. It's just a solo run. If you can't do it, let's just hold the ball in your hand. Another way of doing it is maybe just take the ball in your hand and hold that, Jack. And every time you come to a cone, just throw the ball up and catch it, Jack. All right? Just try that. Okay. So solo run. In and out. Zig and zag. No, no, Jack. Just run with... Sorry, my fault. Just run with the ball in your hand. Okay, and every time you come to a point, throw it up and catch it. All right, because sock, throw it up and catch it, okay? Go. Well done, well done. And back again. Well done. Good boy, good boy. All right, so now we're going to just go change it again. And I'm going to put down socks opposite these. So remember now, lads, you need lots of socks. The most important thing of everything is socks, lads. If you don't have socks, we're in trouble. So here we go. Sock here, sock there. Sock there, and sock here. Now, Jack, we're going to work on what we call the side step. Okay? So come over here to me, Jack. So, you put your holy ball down again. You won't need them for the time being. So with the side step, okay, we're stepping across to the cone here, but we're moving to the left. Okay? So we're running on. We're running on. Running on. As if we're going to the right, we're moving to the left. When we get to this sock, we're going to the left, we're moving to the right. Okay? So we're doing every second sock. I have too many pairs of socks down, lads. I'll pick up some of them to make it some way easier for Jack to do. Okay. Right, Jack. The side step now, okay? So step in as if you're going. Right, you're going to your right, but you're going back left, okay? Yeah, well done. And you have it. That's it. And over here, finish with that one. Well done. We'll do it again, Jack, okay? Because I could have been in the way for some of them. So on the way back, exaggerate it away. Go. 
Well done. Well done. Change the direction all the time. Well done. Well done. So what we're trying to do is we're just trying to change the direction. So we're pretending to go one way. So we're pretending to go this way. But we're coming back here. Okay? So we're on the move. We're changing direction. Now, Jack, we're going to make it a small bit more difficult. And this time we're going to use the football. Okay? So when Jack comes to the first one, he's going to bounce the ball with his right hand as if he's going right. He's coming in left. Left hand and go the opposite direction. Okay? Let's try that so Jack, okay? So bounce it with your right hand, but you're going left. Okay, go. Well done. And left hand. Well done. And right hand. Well done. Well done. Okay? We'll show it again on the way back, Jack. Okay, so you're starting as if you're going with your right hand. So your left hand first. Go. Well done. Well done. Well done. Well done. So what we're doing there, lads, is we're using the football. We're using the football as a decoy. So we're pretending we're going that way. So if I'm playing against you, I think you're going that way because you're bouncing it. But you're not. You're coming back here. Okay? So it's use it as a decoy. Bounce with the right. Move to the left. Okay? The most important thing, lads, with all these skills, particularly the sidestep, which is a skill, okay, is that you're on your toes. Okay? That you're not flat-footed. If you're flat-footed, you're not going to be able to move correctly. So move right. Move left. Okay? So we're moving as we go along. Okay. Well done, Jack. Okay, Jack, so put your football down again. And this time, we're going to use the slitter and the hurley. So pick it up. So again, just to show you from a hurling point of view, all right? So we're going to hold the hurley. Every time we get to a cone now, all right? I'm going to put the hurley out as if I'm going the opposite day. Okay? So there was a famous man who played hurling with Middleton called the Menin. And this was the Menin shuffle, we used to call this. Okay, so we're going out, we're pretending to go that way, but we're coming back. Pretending with the hurley, again, pretend with the hurley and come back, okay? Let's go, so we'll try that one, Jack. So remember, pretend now that you're going to put the hurley over as if you're going that way. Go. Well done. Well done. And again. Come back. Well done. And back in again. Well done. Well done. Well done, Jack. Good stuff, okay? So again, that's just the sidestep. Nice and simple just to try and practice the way at home, and it's great for movement. Okay, so remember a while ago we were showing you the hopping on one leg. We were hopping on one leg. There's a reason for all that. So you just put down the holding bar, Jack. So when we're jumping, in hurling or in football, we'll show you doing both, but when you're holding in foot, uh, in, when you're jumping in football, you throw the ball up, go up with one leg. Okay, so we're always going up to get the height, we're going up, to catch it, okay? So the knee goes up. So Jack, we're gonna try that. You throw it off the wall, get up as high as you can and catch it, okay? Go on. Well done. Try and again. Well done. And again, Jack. Good stuff, Jack, keep it going, well done. And again. And again. Good man, all right, try and get up off the ground now. Well done, okay, No, Jack, we're gonna give you a test, okay? You're going to get 30 seconds to see how many high catches you can get. Okay? Ready? Go! And up you go. One. Two. Get them up high. Three. You're cheating. Get up. Four. Well done. Five. Well done. And again. Up you get. Six. And again. Seven. Well done. Eight. Good man, Jack. And again. Nine, come on, let's get up. Get up off the ground. Ten, and stop. Okay, what did you get, Jack? Ten. Ten. Well done, good man. So we're going to do the same thing now, lads, what we're going to do with a slitter. Okay? So, again, if you've got a hurley, hold the hurley in your good hand, and throw the ball with your weak hand. So the hand you write with in school. Okay, have the hurley caught with that hand, and you're throwing it off the wall. And this time, no, Jack, again, you're getting up off the ground. Okay? Let's throw it again for the lads up high. And up off the ground. Well done. And again. Well done. Okay. And again. Well done. And get up off the ground, Jack. Well done. Okay. As you see, Jack is protecting his hand. Don't worry about that. Don't worry about that, G. All I want you to do is just throw it up off the wall and catch it. We'll worry about protecting our hand later. Okay, Jack. We're going to see how many you can do in a minute. Okay. This is going to be quick on all, Jack. You ready? Go. One. Two, three, 
Oh, he's falling. Four. Get up off the ground. Go on. Five. Hold on. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Go on. Half a minute gone, Jack. Half by a minute gone. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. Seventeen. Oh, he's going all over the place. Eighteen. Nineteen. Ten seconds. Twenty. Twenty-one. Ah! Twenty-two. And stop. Well done. So twenty-two is not Jack got off the wall, thrown her off the wall. See if you can beat that, lads. Let's see if you can have a go off of that. Okay, so there. Nice and simple again. We went through the kangaroo hop, the hopping on one leg, okay? The moving from side to side, hold. Very important there, remember, get the hold and go back again. All those things, that's are very important because as you can see from the skills that we did there, an awful lot of the games, any sport is played on one leg, right? If you're playing football and you're trying to kick the ball, you're on one leg. Whatever sport you're playing, be it basketball, if you're jumping, you're on one leg. So it's very important that we try and strengthen the knees around it so that it makes it stronger as you get older. So lads, well done. Have a bit of fun. Thanks again to Jack and to Carmack on the camera and to Paddy Crowley and my colleague below in West Cork for giving the ideas for today. So we'll see you again soon. Bye.